Hi everybody, this is Sam with Python Basics, and we're going to continue back with our NumPy series. And today we're going to be looking more into the linear algebra uh, part of NumPy, dealing with the inversion function and the dot function. So all right, <clears throat> let's just jump back into it. So last time we were, whoops, we were looking at how we would solve linear algebra with NumPy. So let's just go ahead and put all these into memory. Oops. Helps if you have everything imported. So all right, all right, forgive me. Import NumPy as MP. So here we go. Okay. So the way that we are going to do this, and we have the math laid out here. So here's, here's our linear algebra problem. And we have a coefficient x that we have pulled out. So then that was how we created our matrix, our array, just like this right here. So we can go through this first one. So 2, 1, 2, coefficient of x equals 8. 2, 1, 2, and so on down. And uh, I'll have these down in this description. So, all right. Then we pull out the coefficient, and then we move, and I changed x when it got down here to matrix A, so you can, so you can see, just like so. So then now what we have to do is we have to divide matrix B, by a. So we know that in NumPy that that acts a little different. So guess what? It was taken care of us for in the linear algebra section. So let's just look and see what we would need to do. So first we need to do an inversion of a. So let's see how to do that. NumPy dot Lin algebra. Oops. So A is in memory just like this. So now this is mpy dot lin algebra. And it's just inverse. Just that simple. So there we are. Now, we also know that when we just use regular multiplication, we go through and it's going to multiply. 8 times that, 8 times that, 8 times that, and then so on. But that's not what we want to do here. So there is a different notation to come across to solve. And that is as simple as np dot. So now we have our, since this is inverted, it does not matter if we go a times b or b times a, but we're going to be consistent. We go a times b because next time we are going to do sh I'm going to show you the shortcut so this is as simple as we're done we're literally done so we're gonna check the math on this to make sure that I haven't made any mistakes because Python did exactly what we said so okay so let's use our first scenario here and it's supposed to equal 8 so negative 0.2 times 2 plus 1 times negative 0.4 right here plus 2 times 4.4 .4 right here and right here and lo and behold equals 8 and you could go through and check the rest of these but this is how simple and how powerful NumPy is in the linear algebra section. So real quick video today, but uh, we're going to be doing more and more and more of these. But you guys are doing a great job asking really good questions, um, really good video ideas. So I can't tell you guys thank you enough. So as always, guys, please drop any comments, questions, or any video requests down below, and I'll get right to them. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned, and we'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Hey, guys. 
Thanks for joining us today. I hope you really enjoyed today's video. And if you haven't, check out this video right here or this one right down here. And most important, make sure you're hitting this subscribe button and the notification bell. Thanks again for joining us and we hope to see you next time. Bye guys.